Hello, y'all. How you doing? Okay. Took me longer in town today than I thought it was going to. We ended up stopping and eating. So <laughs> that took a minute. So we're making something with dill pickles tonight. And I'm going to tell you, this is something I've never made before, but I'm really, really uber excited about it because I don't know about your household, but everybody here, we are pickle addicts. We love, love dill pickles. So I ran across a recipe the other day for dill pickle jello. Shut up, right? Oh my gosh. So we're so, so excited about it. And that's what we're going to put together here. So this is really easy. The way they make it sound, like, like I said, I've never done this before. We have two cups of pickle brine over there uh, warming up on the stove. It does not have to get to boiling. It just needs to be, you know, warm um, pickle brine. And so then here, so that's two cups of brine over there. It's warming up. The shaker bottle. This is one cup of brine. Is that starting to get warm? Yeah. Okay. So this is one cup of brine in here. And then we're taking three packs of gelatin. And we're going to mix this in here with this cold. And I don't know if you know this or not. This is a nifty little trick. It doesn't matter if you're doing this or if you're doing um, gravy or something like that. If you will put the powder that you're wanting to mix in into the cold and then mix it and then pour it into your hot, it just, it dissolves and mixes better like that for whatever reason that is. I'm sure there's a technical reason, but I just know it works. So we're going to put this in here and shake this up and then we'll have him bring us that brine here in just a second. But this is supposed to be really uber, uber easy. And, of course, I'll have to take pictures and show it to you here in a little bit. But, okay, so we're getting this all shook up. I'm so excited because what? Dill pickles are awesome. So now i got to wonder, can you make a sweet pickle jello? What? I bought a big box of gelatin because we're going to check this out. Okay, is that warm? Bring it here and let me fill it. I have assistance today. It, turn it back up for just a second and let it try to get just a little bit warmer while I'm mixing up this. So what we're going to do is we'll bring that warm over here and see if we're getting this all mixed up in here uh, with the gelatin. We'll bring the warm over. We'll pour it in a bowl. Then we'll pour in this cold. And then we're going to get in here and get out pickles. Ouch, ouch. These seals are so good. Pickles, and I love this pickle container because I can just lift this up and pick my pickles out and not have to stick my hands down in a jar. So this thing is wonderful. So we'll chop up one or two of the pickles. And when we get this in here, pour this in, we'll get it mixed up really good and everything. And then we'll add some pickles to it. So you have some pickle chunks while you're doing that because you got to add pickle chunks. Warmer now. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, there you go. Pour it in now. Mmm, pickle juice. So there's our two cups of pickle juice. And then this is our one cup of pickle juice with the gelatin in it. So we're going to pour this in. I hope you guys can see that. Okay. Go ahead and stick some hot water in that and shake it up good. So we got that in there. We just want to mix this good. So it's going to work like any other kind of jello. So two cups of brine warmed up, one cup cold, and that's what you mix your three packets of gelatin with. Then you mix it in your bowl good, and then you take your pickle chunks and just put your pickle chunks around in here. And then we're going to sit this in the fridge and let it get cold. And we will come back and pop a little quick video on here. Um, taste testing our pickles and see how it comes out. So, if you're dill pickle crazy, we'll be back in a little bit and we'll see how this works. You guys have a good one. I'll see you in a bit.